Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, just a quick one before I start. Um, as you can see on the bottom right hand side is a copy of uh, PSK report of the map. Um, just showing you the, the spread um, and where I've been heard. I had around 17 contacts over the bands, uh, which I was quite impressed at 4 watts. Um, I'm not sure what the band conditions were like at the time. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm quite impressed. Uh, if you're interested in buying one of these loops, uh, feel free to visit Adrian's site, which is www.2e0ero.co.uk. Uh, this is not a uh, sponsored video in any way. Uh, I bought this loop uh, a few years back. Um, what you will notice on the uh, at the beginning of the video, uh, the SWR is uh, quite high on 40, uh, not. Uh, high and not usable but higher than I would like uh, it's probably a bit of idleness on my part really uh, for the fine tuning because uh, it's a very tight cue uh, anyway sit back and enjoy <laughs> right here is the uh, 2e0 ERO loop it's had a lots of um, wind and rain thrown at it over the last four weeks and uh, it's time to give it a bit of a test. Um, I'm pretty busy working from home at the moment so what I'm going to be doing is running a bit of FT8 and uh, just see how it performs. So I'll uh, head back into the shack and um, do some FT8 with the uh, ICOM IC705. Right, let's see how the um the loop tunes. Now I've already tuned this, so the best tune I'm going to get, I'm just going to press the tune button on WSJTX just to show you. So it's about two to one. Um, let's put it up to four watts, which is what I was using. I'm using for FT8. Uh, 2.2 to one. So that's on obviously 40 meters. Let's go to 30 now. So I'll uh, disable the uh, tune. Okay, let's put it back down to one watt again. That's good. So we can hear some noise. So I'm going to select 30 meters now. Okay, let's listen for some noise. So I'm just going to use the uh, loop, the uh, motor drive controller. So listen for the uh, noise. Right, I'm going to hit the tune button now. Okay, so what we've got there, 1.5. Let's see if I can bring that down a little. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Almost uh, the perfect SWR. Yeah, so that's, um, let's just turn up the uh, RF power. To four watts. Let's just bring it to the government. We've gone up again. I'll leave it at that. Uh, about 1.2 to 1. Okay, so that's 30. Let's go to 20 metres now. Okay, stop the volume a little more. Go 
them to uh, what? Hit the tune button. Well, I've done that. I've done that well by here. More or less uh, one to one there. Perfect match for 20 metres. Let's just put it up to four watts. Yeah, just slight really, but uh, more or less perfect there. Um, now let's try uh, 10 metres. Sorry, 17. Uh, okay. Just send for some. Just turn up the. Uh, Back it down to again to. I am using an external battery, so uh, I can deliver the full 10 watts. 10%. Is it the uh, tune button? See if we can bring that down a little bit more. Nope. I would say that's flat on, uh, let's just turn it up to four watts. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Conclusion time. Um, for 10 English pounds to, to weatherproof my 2E04 band loop, which isn't designed for outdoor use, it's been a success. Uh, if you go to my previous video to this one, you'll see me actually uh, building the... Uh, the enclosure to go round the uh, motor drive and uh, the capacitor. So I'll say 7-3 and I'll uh, catch you in the next one.